What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here, and welcome to After News Delight. So, we got um, Jungle Boy Jack Perry against Christian Cage in AEW's version of the Buried Alive match that they called the Final Burial match. And this one was interesting because, let me say this to start out the gate. This has probably been not AEW's best feud of all time, but definitely top five of all time. Because the way they did this feud, man, they this feud been going on since what last summer or something like that, like last May or June, something like that. It's been long and drawn out, and it actually feels like a real war between both men. Like it don't feel like like because they've been making it personal, putting uh, Jack's lay father in there, Luke, and so uh, and it's definitely made Jack Perry look like a badass. And I like how they added the family element with his sister, his mother. Uh, who was actually there at the match uh, too, and they played them up, you know, quite repeatedly. There was actually a spot in the match where Christian was hitting uh, Jack Perry with the belt repeatedly, right in front of him as well. Uh, since the since they kept on snapping off and stuff like that, so I like that little element and the way they tied in Lucha Swords. The only thing I don't like is like it, it felt like Lucha Swords push kind of got sent back a little bit. So that was the only thing I didn't like about what's been going on in this feud, but I do like the fact that they're going to hit one-on-one without Lucha Swords in the picture, so that was pretty good, so this ended up being a really good match, man, to me, this is my, f this is probably my favorite match of the night, uh, I'm not gonna say it's the best, but it was definitely my favorite, I definitely put it in the top three matches of the night, though, um, they did a lot of work, uh, they were in the crowd at one point, and stuff like that, uh, there was some really good action, uh, especially once they got up the rampway. So let me let me go over what happened towards the end. So Cage threw some dirt into the eyes of Perry. Uh, this is when they were near the uh, the grave, and then he had the kill uh, switch finisher on the dirt pile. Cage placed Perry uh, head over uh, a chair. Uh, Cage picked up another chair and went for a chair's hole, but Perry rolled out of the way. Uh, real quick before I continue. I do like the attire that they had on in the match too, man. Uh, Jungle Jack, Jungle Boy Jack Perry, he had some uh, denim jeans with his signature uh, Jungle Boy boots, and then uh, Christian had on like a uh, like some black cargo pants with some. I, it was a unique like sleeveless <laughs> turtleneck or whatever. I was like, this is crazy, man. The one thing that you will appreciate in any Christian match, especially when he's a heel, he does those tactics throughout the match. Where it's like he's always like a veteran cheating tactic every single time. And he did this all through the match. The raking of the eye at times on Jungle Boy. There was some other things that he would do. Some sneaky stuff he would do. I've always enjoyed that about uh, Christian Cage's matches, man. Always enjoyed that about him. But let me continue. So Cage picked up another cheer. I went for a concerto. But Perry rolled out the way. Perry picked up the shovel. And swung it uh, while Cage slammed the chair into it. They took turns choking each other with the shovel. Uh, Cage gouged the eyes of Perry. Cage swung at the shovel at Perry, who ducked it. And then placed the shovel handle inside of the mouth of Cage. I like that little spot right there. They wrenched it uh, back on it. Perry uh, placed Cage's head over a chair. Uh, Perry grabbed the second chair and played to the crowd. And then Ross, uh, que uh, Jim Ross had questioned whether Perry had the killer instinct. And this was the key. Perry looked into the sky and slammed the chair down for the concerto. Perry then picked up a cage and dragged him into the casket and placed him inside. Perry placed uh, Cage's arms over the chest and spoke to him and then stood up. Perry looked into the sky and it uh, looked like he was looking up at his father. Then closed the lid. And then the casket fell downward into the dirt. Jungle Boy gets the win. Uh, I love coffin matches in general, but sometimes they can be sloppy if you don't get the right people involved. This was the right one. They, they, the way they told the story throughout the match was great. Uh, this one, they had the perfect people in it. And this one was actually really good. They actually had a pretty fun brawl. And I think the best thing that they did was not bring out Luchasaurus, man. Because this was something that I was wondering if they were going to bring out Luchasaurus. I wanted the two men to have their say. Especially if this was going to wrap up the feud, which 
I'm kind of down if it's the end end. We, we probably won't see them go against each other for a while, but I'm pretty sure in the future, as long as Christian is in AEW, at some point he's going to fight with this dude again. But we'll see what happens with Luchasaurus in the future, man. But uh, I like it, man. And, and the thing is, Christian, for his age, man, still got it done. Still, He didn't look old in this match, and that's what I liked about it. Um, he looked like, I want to say prime, prime Christian, but like a little bit after his prime. That's what he looked like to me in this match. So pretty good stuff, man. Let me know y'all thoughts, man. I'm coming back to wrap it up and reveal the poll results for this match. Okay, you guys, make sure y'all go ahead and hit the like button, comment, and share the video. Also, make sure you guys also donate to the channel by hitting the thanks button below, or you can hit up the Cash App, dollar sign, sack exchange, to send any donation to the Cash App. Here are the top donators, and you can fit yourself in this list at any time if you donate at least $2 or more. Thank you. So, yeah, let me put up the poll. Uh, what was this poll at? Okay. So, this one was similar to the Jericho, the Ricky Starks poll. Nice turnout. Similar voting results. Uh, 441 votes, 39 likes. Thank y'all for uh, chiming in. Jack Perry, 71%. Christian, 29%. So, another one you guys got right. Um, so that's crazy how y'all got these right, man. Uh, in my opinion, what I like the most about Jack Perry winning is it tells the story. You know what I mean? You know, because obviously if Christian had won, the feud was going to have to continue probably. Uh, but the other thing I like is ever since this feud started, it's made Jack Perry's character look a little bit more serious. Uh. And I like this side. Like I say, I like the Jack Perry side more than the Jungle Boy side of Jack Perry. I can just take him a little bit more serious when he's this version of himself. So, this guy got a bright future, man. This guy got a bright future, bro. Uh, and uh, I hope to see more Christian Cage, man, because this was fun. It's fun watching him as a heel, bro. So, I hope maybe maybe, maybe if they run a new program, maybe he could run something with Ricky Starks or something. But put, up an, uh, put over another, you know, uh, younger babyface guy. Uh, Cause he did that really well with Jack Perry in this feud, man. So I got nothing but the best to say about this feud. Thank y'all for watching this one. After news, like, and up until this point, man, Revolution been pretty good, bro.